Quattro Formini is a variety of Italian pizza topped with a combination of four kinds of cheese, as the name suggests. Traditionally, the cheeses should be mozzarella and three other, local cheeses, depending on the region, such as Gorgonzola, Fontina, and Parmigiano Reggiano. Optionally, the pizza can be further enriched with the addition of basil and tomato. The combination of cheeses gives the pizza an unusual, unique flavor that is loved by cheese aficionados all over the world. Monakish is a favorite Lebanese breakfast, a round, flat bread that is typically topped with olive oil and zeder, sesame seeds, thyme, and shumac, then baked in the oven. Other toppings might include cheese, minced lamb, spinach, or fried eggplants. The name of the dish means decorated or stamped, referring to a technique where the dough is pressed using the tips of one's fingers, leaving a decorative pattern in the process. Although it is sometimes affectionately called Lebanese pizza, it is a recent addition to the Lebanese culinary heritage, but it quickly became one of the most popular dishes due to its flavors, low price, and the ease of preparation. Monakish is often associated with being food for the poor, but it is enjoyed by all classes of society. It is recommended to pair it with tomatoes, cucumbers, yogurt cheese, or a cup of hot tea. This is a variety of Italian pizza that is traditionally topped with cherry tomatoes, mozzarella di bufala, olive oil, and fresh basil leaves. It provides a great way to use up leftover tomatoes, and some cooks like to finish it off with a drizzle of balsamic reduction on top. Pepperoni pizza is an American pizza variety which includes one of the country's most beloved toppings. Pepperoni is actually a corrupted form of pepperoni, 1p, which denotes a large pepper in Italian, but nowadays it denotes a spicy salami, usually made with a mixture of beef, pork, and spices. The popularity of pepperoni pizza had only started to rise in the 1950s. Nowadays, beef pepperoni pizza is the most popular pizza variety, but there are also versions such as fish pepperoni pizza and pork pepperoni pizza. The preparation varies from one state to another, but the popularity of this pizza has made it a staple across the United States, and it's usually prepared simply with mozzarella, tomato sauce, and pepperoni. New York-style pizza is a large, thin-crusted pizza that evolved from the classic Neapolitan-style pizza, brought to New York City by Italian immigrants during the early 1900s. The dish began with the opening of America's first pizzeria, called Lombardi's, where the owner Gennaro Lombardi served unusually large and wide pizza pies. When sliced, the pieces are also very large and wide, while the crust is crispy, yet foldable for easier consumption. Some claim that the unique texture of the crust owes much to the minerals that are only found in New York City's tap water. Traditionally, the pizza is topped with mozzarella and heavily seasoned tomato sauce, olive oil, tomatoes, garlic, sugar, salt, oregano, crushed red pepper, basil, while the additional ingredients such as vegetables or sausage come on top of the cheese. Typical condiments for additionally topping the pizza include garlic powder, red chili pepper flakes, and oregano. The name of this pizza literally translates to capricious, and seems quite appropriate, considering that the toppings tend to vary from one region to another. Capricciosa is made with an ever-changing combination of ingredients which most often include tomatoes, mozzarella, mushrooms, artichokes, ham, olives, and a sliced hard-boiled egg, whereas in central and northern Italy, it is not uncommon to add capers, sausages, and sometimes even anchovies. One of Italy's favorite pizza varieties of the 1980s, Capricciosa still sells well and is once again becoming increasingly popular. In the late 1800s and the early 1900s, Neapolitan immigrants came to the USA in search of a better life. Shortly after, in 1943, their descendants, Ike Sewell and Rick Ricardo had opened Pizzeria Uno in Chicago, serving a new variety of pizza in a deeper dish, with inverted layers of cheese, meat, and tomatoes, and a crunchy crust. No longer an immigrant tradition, Chicago-style deep dish pizza is now one of Chicago's cultural and culinary icons. The dish is not just popular in Chicago, but all over the world, and its popularity is evident in the fact that there is even a national deep dish pizza day, celebrated every year on April 5th. Thick, hearty, and crispy, Chicago-style deep dish is a cheesy and gooey treat for pizza lovers throughout the world.
Marinara is a Neapolitan pizza with a topping of tomatoes, oregano, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and sometimes fresh basil. Its name is not derived from the popular belief that it has seafood on it, because it does not, but because it was a staple food of the fishermen who consumed it upon their return home from fishing in the Bay of Naples. Some claim it was invented at Pizzeria Port Alba in 1734, considered the oldest pizzeria in the world. Marinara is a part of protected Napolitana pizzas, with specific rules concerning the production process, the dough, and the key ingredients used in making the pizza. This unique type of pizza is characterized by its half-round shape, made by folding a full-sized pizza in half. Hailing from 18th century Naples, calzone literally means pant leg, referring to the fact that calzone's original purpose was to be a pizza which can be consumed while walking or standing. Typically, calzones are filled with meats such as salami or ham and cheeses such as mozzarella, ricotta, parmesan, and pecorino whereas fried calzones with mozzarella and tomatoes are a specialty from the Italian region of Apulia, and are known as panzerati. In the United States and the rest of the world, calzones gained in popularity after being the central theme of an episode of the hit TV show Seinfeld in 1996. Pizza margarita is a delicacy that is literally fit for a queen. In 1889, Queen Margarita of Savoy visited Naples, where she was served a pizza that was made to resemble the colors of the Italian flag, red tomatoes, white mozzarella cheese, and green basil. It was made by a chef named Raffaele Esposito of Pizzeria Brandi, who is credited for its invention. The queen loved the dish, and Esposito named it after her, Pizza Margarita, but such a pizza was also made before that time, and can be dated back to at least 1866, when the most popular pizza toppings included basil, cheese, and tomatoes, but the pizza was not yet named Margarita. Since those times, Margarita has become one of the most popular pizza varieties in the world, and in 2009, it was protected as one of the three pizza Napolitan with an STG European label of protection, proving its excellence in flavor, ingredients, and traditional pizza making techniques. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos.